I know what you might be thinking. Are we gonna write all of this template code here inside this directive definition? I mean that's really frustrating as template will get bigger and bigger. And the answer is no, we don't need to do that. So I'm gonna take out all of my template code out from here. Then I'm gonna create a new file, say employee info.html, paste the code and do some formatting. Then come back to our directive definition, use template URL property instead of template property and specify the absolute path of the HTML file we have created. So our file is in the same folder. So it's simple to just use the name here. Run the application. Well, you can see the employee details same as before. Now before concluding this lecture, I want to tell you about one more property called replace. So you can see here inside my elements tab in developer tool, the directive name has been displayed as an HTML element, but there is no such HTML element exist with the name of employee card. So if you want to replace this with the HTML template, first we need to wrap our template code with a parent div element as one parent element is required for replace to work. Then I'm going to use the replace property here inside my directive definition. Give it a value of true, refresh, open the elements panel and you can see now the directive name has been completely replaced by the template code. But as per AngularJS specification, you should not use replace property after AngularJS version 1.2. They kept it, but they said not to use it to follow best practices.